Hi everyone, my name is Jade Mullet and I am a professional makeup artist and I'm here today to show you how to create a glamorous look for mature skin. My mom has kindly agreed to be my model, so I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to make you look younger and super glam for any night or special occasion. So let's get started. I firmly believe that the most important part of creating makeup look is your skincare and your base because what you're going to apply onto your skin and how it's going to look is going to be dependent on how well you've looked after your skin. Now, okay, we're going to pop this all over the skin. It's super hydrating as it's water-based and it feels lovely and gentle on the skin. It's hyperallergenic and it's absolutely lovely if you have any redness in your skin. I've already popped on a little bit of eye cream and that as well. My mom and I were just discussing some of her favorite little bit of makeup creams and she has two favorites. Mom, do you want to tell us which one is your yes, absolute favorite? Um, one of my favorites is Vichy Aqualia. It's available in Sam Macaulay's and I, I find it excellent for hydrating mature skin. And the other one is a Gino cream, a neck cream. And this it's is very, very good. Yeah, it's very good. This is beautiful. Now we've already popped a little bit along. The little trick is to apply it up the way, across the decollete, across up the neck for when you are applying your cream to keep everything super hydrated. So now that we have our lovely base on, we're going to go straight into the eyebrows. And today I'm using a little kit that's called window dressing from Carter Beauty. You can pick these up in the vast majority of Sam Macaulay's. And what I love about it is you have a little brown mascara, you have a pencil, and then you have little eyeshadows that you can actually use to apply onto the brows. So it's a nice little bit of powder. So I'm going to go in with that little bit of brow pencil now first. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, and so what you're going to do is just to follow the natural little line of the brow. Just very, very nice and natural, quite lightly as well just to add a little bit of color and pigment to the brows themselves. And after that then, to keep everything set and lovely, we are going to apply a little bit of clear brow mascara, which comes in the Carter Beauty set, which is brilliant as well. Hold on here now. There we go. So this is what the little brow mascara looks like. That's here. Make sure I've got all the X's up and I'm just very, very light, lightly popping that across the tail end of the brows just to enhance the color that I've already placed. So there we go, that's all beautiful. Now, when I'm doing a makeup look on mature skin or on any skin type, I find it's really important to do the eyes first. The reason for doing that is because if you have any fallout from mascara or eyeshadow, it is super easy to sweep everything up and it adds that lovely definition to your eyes before you apply your base. Yeah. Okay, so next up then, what I'm going to use as a little bit of an eyeshadow base is, I'm going to use my Maybelline, it's an instant anti-age eraser, which is absolutely fantastic as a base for your eyeshadows and for also underneath the eyes as well. Just as it's a very, very light cream, lovely spongy texture, isn't too overbearing, and just adds the right amount of concealment without completely taking over. So you can just apply that directly on to the skin, and then we're gonna buff that out with a sponge. We're gonna keep the eyes super natural today. I'm just gonna show you little tips and tricks to give you a lovely little eye effect without placing any actual lashes on. I'm gonna show you some little tricks to make your eyelashes look that little bit thicker again. And if you have any questions, feel free to work away and to ask me. So now after I've applied that, I am going to set it with a little bit of my Rimmel Stay Matte Instant Powder. This is a transparent powder that you can actually use for your face. I'm going to pop just a little bit on with a large blending brush. Just pop that on. And I'm just going to close your eyes for me, and I'm just going to set the eyes there so nice and lightly. So it just helps to cover that. What that does is the concealment itself covers any redness or any color abnormality on the actual eyelid itself, blends everything out so that when we go in then with our eyeshadows, everything is already super primed. 
For our eyeshadows today, I'm going to use a palette that I love. It's called the Showstopper Palette from Mrs. Glam. Michelle Regazzoli Stone. And this is your palette here. What I love about it is you have your blushers and bronzers, your highlighters, and you've got some lovely neutral shades there. As I'm going to go for something quite soft, I'm going to go into Game Changer, which is a very neutral, cool bronze. And I'm going to leave that actually on your little lap there. And then what I'm going to do is when you're applying, just open your eyes for me. So on hooded eyes, it's very important to give that lifting effect. It's going to complement the eyes. So the little trick is when you open your eyes, just look straight ahead for me. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep that reach on this outer part of the eyes as that's going to give a lovely lifting effect to it. Whereas if you put a color all over the eyes or a shimmer all over the eyes, it's going to drag the eyes down instead of giving that lifting effect. So just close your eyes there again for me. So where I've placed, it's on the outer part of the eye, super soft sweeping motions, holding that brush at its very tail end so that you can always control then the amount that you place. I'm only popping a small little something on just to give it a natural little pretty effect. I'm going back in again to the same shade and I'm applying it exactly on the outer parts of the eye. So a smoothing little circles, very, very soft. And just keep buffing that out. Fabulous. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to ask them. If I haven't responded during the tutorial, I will respond straight afterwards. Mammy is going to look super glam, but we don't know where we're going to be going right now, but at least she's going to look super beautiful for this evening. And open your eyes for me. Lovely and close again. So as you can see, that is super soft. It's really natural. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of my YSL. This is a little bit of a black eye pencil. And just close your eyes for me. And I'm going to very lightly pop that on the outer part of the eyes. Open your eye for me there again. Look straight ahead. So basically just as the very, very end of the last lash, close your eyes again. I'm going to pop a little bit of that pencil. Super, super soft. And then I'm going to buff that out with a little small bullet brush. So you can just see here now how easy this is. Like so. And now the other side. So a big thing which I've been told consistently when I'm doing mature makeup is regards the eyes. A lot of people have told me that their, their biggest concern really is, open your eyes for me, that the waterline, which is above the eye, just underneath the top of the lashes, sometimes with age, they can become a little bit more pronounced. So the little trick there is using your mascara and a little angled brush, just like this one. What you're going to do is that when you are applying your mascara, you're going to apply the mascara first. I'm just using a Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. And I'm going to just dip that in now first. I'll apply a little bit of mascara and then I'll show you the little trick for just covering underneath that water line. So open your eyes and look down for me. So first of all, we're just going to use our little wand, little spoolie brush and just fluff up those lashes first. And the little trick that I use then is going to add that little bit of extra thickness to the look. Fabulous. So after we've done that, then we go in with that little flat brush that I showed you, the little corner brush. And then just open your eyes and look down for me. So if you can see here, the, the waterline is this little area here. It's just underneath. So I just wanted to pull that up that you could see. That can become a little bit more visible with time. So the little trick is to use a hyperallergenic mascara and it'll add just an extra little bit of wow factor to the lashes, making them look that little bit thicker again. So just keep pressing that along. And we'll do it again the other side. And just hit your head to look at me. And just look at me. Fabulous. Look down again. So as you can see, that just adds that little bit of extra oomph to the look. So after I've done that then, I'm gonna go back in with my bullet brush. And I'm going to go into a little bit of a darker shade here now, which is Boy Mum. 
from the Michelle Regazzoli palette. Hold that again for me. And then I'm just gonna sweep downwards on that outer part of the eye. So you're creating a little bit of a shadowed wing that's super soft, super lifting to the eyes and very, very easy to do. So this is all really done with two shadows and one little bit of liner. And open your eyes and close again. So I want something that's going to be wearable for the day, for nighttime, really, really easy. And by doing all of this bit of looks on the eyes itself, it's really easy then to clean up afterwards. And open your eyes again for me. Does that feel okay? Lovely. Okay. Now we're just gonna make sure underneath the eyes are all swept up. So the little trick then is because you've done the eyes, you can go in with a little bit of toner, look upwards, or a little face wipe, and then just sweep up that little bit of excess underneath. And we're good to go. So as I said, the most important part of doing your makeup is priming the skin. The reason for that is it's going to determine what the makeup is going to look like on the skin. And my favorite thing to do for mature skin types is to use primers that are really going to help add a more poreless effect to the skin to give a more dreamy appearance. And in this case, I'm going to be using the Be Perfect Cosmetics Primer. The reason that I love this primer so much is that it has a silicone base. And when you use a primer that has a silicone base, what that does is it just naturally fills any large pores, smile lines, any little areas of concern and gives a bit of a blurring effect so that when you apply your foundation, it's going to go on like velvet and give a super smooth, dreamy appearance. So my little piece of advice with this one is to be generous with your application because the more generous you are with it, the super more velvety it's going to all go on. So look upwards again for me. So we've hydrated the skin, we've added all that lovely bit of moisture. So this is just going to seal everything in so that when you put on your foundation, your skin isn't going to completely drink the foundation up. It's gonna look really nice and smooth. So now we have all there. Beautiful. The brush I'm actually using here, it's excellent. It's a Rebeluna brush and it's an R09. What I love about this is it's a large brush and then it's really easy to apply your primer and then easy then again to go back in to use your foundation. So what I'm going to do next then is I'm going to go in with my foundation. So we've got a new favorite and this is actually a Lancome and it's a foundation stick and it is in shade 350 Bisque 04 Beige Nature. And this is a little turn foundation stick and it's at this other side of it. It actually has a little brush for application that you can use. I'm going to use my own brush in this case, but it's very, very handy for your handbag. I'm just going to place this in the area. So you only need a small little amount. It feels fabulous. It's really lovely and velvety. Yeah. Very lightweight, really good for your skin. It looks so pretty and airbrushed when it blends through. Just tilt your head for me. So I can make sure I'm covering everything. A small amount goes a long way. I'm just being a little bit generous because it will make it that little bit more easy to blend. Also, if you're somebody who likes to have simplicity regards your handbag, I'm going to show you the handiest little thing that you can have. It's a Luna by Lisa Jordan. It's a little brush. So the trick of this is, as you saw the little trick that I did with the eyelashes, um, and I used a little angled brush for underneath the eyes. So you've got three things in one with this brush. I think it ranges for about 15 euros in pharmacies. So it's a three in one. You've got your foundation powder bronzer brush that you can use it for either or up top. Underneath then is that little bit of the angle brush for brows or liner. And then you twist in between and you've got a little sponge that you can use. Oh, you can use it for your concealment, to blend in your makeup, everything. So you've got it all in one, a twist. So if you're somebody who likes simplicity and handiness for your handbag, I think you're gonna love this one. Right, so I'm going to go back in though and I'm going to continue to use the same brush that I applied with the primer and I'm going to go in then to buff out the foundation. So as you can see, this is super, super easy and silky to buff out. A small amount goes a long way because we're trying to create a nice glowing look, not a caked look, something that's going to really be youthful and allow the light to shine through and that's what I like about this one in particular. It's super, super soft. Remember that when you're buffing out um, and you're doing it yourself, it's great if you start in the middle because when you're 
buffing then outwards to the face it makes it so much easier to buff it into the the neck and around the ears without getting any lines so just tilt your head again for me so make sure we catch everywhere Fab. smoothing along always take your time as well to make sure you're getting in and around the brows and I'm going to show you my little secret lifting effect then when it comes to applying my concealer. I'm going to go back in now with that foundation stick again, just to cover any little areas that I might have missed or that I want to add extra volume to. So pressing that in with my brush, just for that extra bit of coverage, because you can keep it quite light across and then focus a little bit more on areas that you'd kind of think that you'd like to cover a bit more then. It's got beautiful consistency. It's not cakey. It's really, really soft. And then again, just around the mouth area. Okay, fabulous. And tilt your head towards me. So make sure we get the nose. And if you've got quite dry skin, this is a great one as well as because it doesn't drink up the skin's moisture. So it's just lovely and balanced then over that primer. Great stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in then with my concealment. So we're going to go back in again to the Instant Anti-Age Eraser from Maybelline. This is a very, very affordable concealer and it's one of my favourites. The trick is then when you're doing any kind of lifting effects, so that you're going to keep on the inside of the eye, the other side of the nose, either side first. Look upwards for me. And then keep on the inside here and here. And then you're going to do a sweep out motion here. So this is where you're going to place that there. Now, what I would say is if you're blending it in yourself at home, you can use your fingers because the warm, warmth of your fingers is going to be sufficient enough. Or if you're using this, you can just buff this in then again with your foundation sponge. So that's lovely and light there now. A little bit on the chin and a little bit here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit more prominent um, concealment that I like over this. And that is the Perfect Prime from Be Perfect Cosmetics. Just so that I can really show you the placement. So inner corners, three little dots in the outer parts. This is a cream concealer. So what it does is it's super light, meaning that it's not going to sink in to your natural little smile lines. A little bit on the chin and here in the center of the forehead. The reason that I've placed these in these parts is that you are going to apply areas of highlight or concealment to the areas that you, you wish to draw forward, that you would like to be noticeable. And these are the areas that give a beautiful, youthful bounce. The center of your face and forehead, it's complimentary and beautiful in photographs for that light to bounce forward. Just tilt your head slightly down for me. Yeah, and just a little bit towards the camera, perfect. So it's just really, really flattering to keep that to the center of the face, center on the chin. And then when it comes to underneath the eyes, I like to go in with my little makeup sponge. So the best trick I can ever give to you is if you have a makeup setting spray at home, I have so many that I love. The one I'm using today is a Bella Mianta one. It is in shade Champagne. Give your little makeup sponge a spritz. And this is a Revoluna sponge. It's one of my favorites as it's flat sided on one and it's got a lovely little angle, which means it's super easy for you to get into hard areas. So look upwards for me. I'm just open your eyes. There we go. And head down slightly. Perfect. So you can buff in, look upwards again for me. So because I've only applied a small amount of concealer, I'm just buffing this in, in that area and then lifting up that outer area. And open your eyes and look into the camera. So yeah, as you can see straight away, there's a huge lift already. It's bringing the eyes upwards. Yeah, everything is not completely blended in yet. I still have to go over that area with my little foundation sponge, but you can immediately see that lovely brightening effect. And then look upwards again. We do the same on the other side. Go in the inside of the eye and then buff out on the outer parts. So you can use your sponge or you can use your fingers. Super, super easy going over the center of the face again. All this will do is press the product into the skin, giving a smoother appearance. 
Now I just want you to look at me here to make sure I have everything okay. You look beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Okay. Just want to make sure I have everything there. Stunning. Okay. So now it's time to go in with a little bit of contouring. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, let me see which one. Oh, okay. I'm going to use my Soul Soup contour stick in this case in shade warm. And the little trick here is, is just to keep that, don't go the middle of the line of the ear. Keep to about here. I'm just going to use a small little bit either side. Now, usually for mature skin, I would only use powder contouring. But in this case, I just want to add a little bit of an extra oomph to show you that it's not intimidating, that if you would like to try this, how easy it is to do. It's just like buffing in another little foundation stick, just to add a little bit of bronze to the face. And the same the other side. You're using the same brush you use for your foundation, smoothing everything out. So there we go, fab. Next up then, I'm going to use my trusted little bit of blusher. I'm going to go in with a cream blusher. In this case, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Melon Sorbet. It's a cream blush and it is by Mitchell, which is a UK makeup artist. I have another favorite that I used recently, which is a Charlotte Tilbury. What I love about this one is it's matte, it's got no shimmer in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the universal way of applying your blusher, which is the three little dots here. If you've got a long face, you would apply it here and here. If you have a round or square shaped face, you will apply it around here like an arc of color. So what I'm gonna do is apply the three little dots, okay? And I'm gonna buff those down to the apples of the cheeks. Just to warm up that area, I think it's so lovely to do mixed in with a little bit of the bronzer. So it just warms up the face straight away. Okay, and it gives a gorgeous lifting effect, which is what we want. So bring that right up either side. And open your eyes there again. So you can see that it gives a lovely lifting sweep. Also, a clever little thing to do as well, if you're quite conscious of any little lines around your, your mouth, so here along these little folds, the little trick is to put a little dot for anywhere that you would be a little bit self-conscious. What that does is it's a distracting light. So it detracts from the area and it brings it forward, giving a more complimentary, youthful finish. So a little bit there and a little bit either side of the mouth. And then just buff that back in then with a sponge. So just around the mouth. And it gives a bit of a lifting effect because the light is drawing that forward. Okay, now I'm just going to check everything before we set with our little bit of powder and blush. Look upwards for me again. Lovely. Are you comfy? Yes. Okay, beautiful. Okay, now we are going to set our makeup and we're going to go in with a little bit of the Rimmel Transparent Powder that I used. It's only $5.99. You can get it in the vast majority of pharmacies. And I'm going to apply that with a large powder brush holding it at its tail end. Now, a lot of people don't like powder. I can understand why. You don't want to look too dehydrated and for mature skin, it can be a concern as well to look over powdered. The little trick is that you can be generous with the powder in this case, and then you're gonna set your makeup with makeup setting spray once you're finished. And what that does is takes away the powdered look of the makeup, sets it in a way that it's gonna last all day, hydrates the face, and gives an overall more youthful glow while not moving a bit. So that's what we want. Okay, I'm just gonna get you to tilt your head towards me just so I can see you. And look upwards. Fab, and the little bit of concealer, the way it's been positioned is nice and bright. Again, that's perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to go into our bronzer. So the bronzer I'm using today <coughs> is from Doll Beauty. I'm gonna show it here now when I open it up. So this is it here. You can actually purchase this one online and it's in shade medium and it's Give Me Sun, which is this one here. It's a lovely matte bronzer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my lovely angled bronzer brush and then any area that I've added contour to, so just tilt your head for me. You don't go below the middle of the ear, keep it nice and high so that it's super lifting and flattering to the face. We're going to sweep that while holding the brush at its tail end and then very lightly sweeping underneath to give a powder contouring effect. It's super, super natural. Okay, 
and then apply a little bit just to the top of the forehead just to smooth everything through and what I like to do as well is just to connect that bit of bronzer there to the end of the eye just to buff everything in open your eyes so that it looks super super soft and super lifted and you can already see the difference just bend your head down slightly from without the bronzer to the bronzer the lifting effect that that is already giving it just adds a lovely little bit of warmth to the skin and um, without being overbearing and creates a structure and a shape that may not have been there naturally so tilt your head towards me again so again don't go below the middle of the ear holding the brush at its end and then just sweeping across and go into the apples of the cheeks as well to keep that warmth which is lovely and I like to add a little bit to the end of the nose as well just for the bit of extra warmth it's completely dependent on yourself right up into the hairline again because we've used such a neutral shade on the eyes just to buff that through and then right underneath that jawline to create a little bit of structure it gets more flattering in photographs and just overall looks and feels better and open your eyes again for me okay fam. okay so next up then i'm going to add a little bit of powder blush my favorite so far has been the mac this is in pinch me it's a beautiful matte pinky shade and it's just lovely, lovely rose toned. Very, very flattering. You only need the most slight amount. Again, using the bronzer brush, tip off that excess. And then I like to keep it up a little bit higher than planned. The reason for that is if I keep that blusher just up nice and high, it's going to give more of a lifting swoop effect to the face. If you have quite a round or long face keep it to the apples of the cheeks and focus on this area whereas with other face shapes like square oval and um, heart shaped keep it up nice and high so just again that little bit of an arc a little bit of warmth personal trick i like to pop a little bit onto the nose as well just to add some warmth to the area okay so now that we have that done I like to add a little bit of a sheen to the skin and we have to be very conscious with doing that because we don't want to add any little bit of um, any distraction to any focus on any of our natural little smile lines. So this one here is a Milani bronzer. It's in Dolce 09. It's a beautiful bronzer with a very, very light gold reflect. So I'm going to go in again with my angled brush. And I'm just going to sweep over everywhere that I've already done. The reason that I'm doing that is that adds a beautiful warm to the face. And just finishes everything in a, just a lovely smoothing finish without being too OTT. Fabulous. Okay, now that we have done all of that, we're going to go into underneath the eyes. So I'm gonna show you that little trick that I did again with the above lash line. We're gonna do the same on the bottom. So when you are applying your mascara, and I'm going back in again with my Maybelline Falsies mascara and look upwards for me. Okay, so you apply the mascara first. Brilliant. And then you can go back in with your angled brush just to cover as close to that little lash line as possible. This is such a great trick to do with your mascara because it adds great thickness to your eyes without using absolutely um, any eyeliner and um, without looking overbearing, without needing any lashes. And look upwards again for me. And then just press on where the actual lash root is. And do the same on this side and add a bit more. Taking your time to go across, it is so easy to do on yourself with a little angled brush. It literally only takes a few seconds. And look upwards again for me. And because that these are waterproof, it just makes life so much easier to move. All hyperallergenic as well, so it's super, super soft. So it's natural, which is a little bit of a kick. Now, okay, so next up then we have our lips which are very, very important. Now, mum usually loves color. 
Don't you love? Yes. <laughs> I love Mac Red. Yes. You usually love the Ruby Woo. I, yes. yes. Okay. But we're not doing red lipstick today. We're actually going with something a little bit more natural. Now, a little tip is if you do like color on your lips, especially when you're wearing masks and things, but just in general, it's brilliant if you could use a lip pencil, a little bit dry all over the lips. And that way then um, your makeup is gonna last all day. And then if you'd like to add a little bit of something like a nourishing lipstick or that later on in the day, you can do that and you have the longevity then as well. So I'm going to actually use a MAC or a pencil in this case. And close your lips for me. The trick is when you're applying your lip pencil, not to move your lips, which is really hard because sometimes you'd be kind of, you know, give, doing the kissy faces. Try not to do that. So start with your Cupid's bow. Literally on the line or slightly above it. So Cupid's bow. The very middle of the lip on the line underneath, which is here. And then you just have to connect it. So sw swing around that area here. Connect that here. Well, again, holding lightly so it's not overbearing. My mom has actually lovely little shape lips, so it's really, really easy then for lining. Lovely, and then just open your mouth slightly for me. Always put your little bit of pencil on the outer parts of the lips. The reason being then, if you're using a bit of gloss or a top up, it's really, really easy then to top up because you're only popping it on the middle of the lips. So regarding the lipstick I'm using, it's so beautiful. This is actually one from YSL. It's a Rouge Voluptuous Shine Oil Instick. Beautiful. It's actually so beautiful. Now it looks like it's going to be a lot more pigmented than what it is. It's actually very, very natural and super hydrating to the skin. So this one is in shade 122 um, Burnt Zelique. I hope I'm pronouncing this right, but either way I will pop all of this little bit of information underneath. So I'm just going to use a little lip brush now. And because I've lined the outer parts and my mom's lips are a little bit dry, I'm just popping that in the middle of the lips. So it just adds a lovely bit of color and a little bit of hydration as well. Now, Smashing. Okay, and just have a little look at me there for a moment. You look lovely. Hold on, I just want to make sure everything is buffed out. Okay. Aren't I lucky? Oh, you're just lovely. You're just I lovely. said, aren't I lucky? <laughs> you are lucky. <laughs> you're just lucky because you've got somebody beside you now to do something. I suppose <laughs> it's quite handy having um, two daughters. Yeah. One is in fashion and the other is in makeup. So I think mum has it quite handy. <laughs> One will always help the other. So again, I'm just going back in with the bronzer, just making sure everything is super smooth and lovely. And just look directly into the camera there. Okay, looking great. Okay, and um, the last little thing you can do as well, and it's a great trick um, when it comes to baking, and this is using the Huda Beauty. This is a loose baking powder in shade Banana Bread. And on the back of it, it's available in Boots. It tells you exactly what to do and how to apply it, which makes it super easy for all age groups to use. What I like about this is that if you have quite enlarged pores and you're a little bit conscious of them, or if you have lines around your mouth, whether it would be smoker lines or would just be natural aging lines, these are absolutely fantastic to add a blurring effect to the skin. So with this, what I'm going to do is I just turn it upside down. And then I will just give that a little tap. Okay. And then what I do is I just use um, a nice light brush. In this case, it's the Nemo brush. And I'm just going to pop that either side of the nose. This is going to give such a gorgeous blurring effect. And look upwards for me. I just need to smooth underneath that area there now. Look upwards for me. making sure everything is as it should be. Now, and just head down slightly, but, but eyes up. There we go. And so I'm just smoothing underneath. So what this does is it actually adds a blurring effect, which is absolutely great, great if you've got quite tired eyes. 
You can use it around the mouth because in the areas like where I've highlighted, it brings the area forward and adds a little bit of a blurring effect while also blurring the pores. And you needn't worry about it being a little bit too intense because now what I'm going to do is to finish everything off, I'm going to use a makeup setting spray. And it's very, very hydrating. It's from the Bellamyanta collection. It's in the shade Champagne. So it has a little bit of a shimmer in there. A very light glow that you wouldn't even notice. It's so subtle. And then you always cover your eyes. And then, whoo, it just spritz the face. So that's what's taken that. Sorry, mommy, I should have given you a real warning. <laughs> it's a beautiful smell. It's really hydrating. Your face is going to look a little bit wet for like five to 10 minutes. But what that does is it enhances the makeup. It blends everything together. It makes sure the makeup lasts so much longer because it's going to really, really hydrate the skin and take away that powdery look so that you won't have that anymore from the bronzers or the powders or anything else. So that everything then is like super nice and super soft. So just tilt your head again to the side for me, just so I can make sure everything is as it should be. Yeah, you look beautiful. Thank you. So this is it. Thank this you. is a lovely, simple, pretty little look. You can add a little bit more if you so wish. In this case, we would usually add some lashes, but we want to be able to show you a little trick that you can do with the lashes so that it's a choice whether you put them on or you don't. If you have any little questions, work away and I will get back to you as soon as I can this evening. And thank you so much to everyone for watching. Really appreciate it and have a lovely evening. I'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye.